Okay, so this is going to be my attempt at explaining this coming eclipse. Uh, I've seen the Potter's Clay put up a cool video where he showed how uh, this eclipse proves that the, the globe model is wrong and it supports the flat earth model. I also saw a video by Jaronism where he said that the, uh, the eclipse is not going to disprove the globe. And I'm not sure I totally understood him, but I think I, think I know what he was trying to say. So I'm going to try and explain that here and then I'm, I'm going to look at it uh, with some visual aids and actually show you what I see. And we'll see by the end of the video if this eclipse does in fact prove or disprove the globe theory. Okay, so what do we got? First, uh, we've got our Earth here. Okay, we've got our moon. I've got it on a stick so that my hands aren't in the way. And I've got the sun set up 93 million miles down across my house so that it's to scale. I want to keep things as accurate as NASA does, right? So give me some credit. Uh, so we've got the Earth and it's supposed to move, or rotate, sorry. It's supposed to rotate in this direction. Okay, we've got the moon, and what's, ha what's supposed to happen with the moon is the moon orbits the Earth like this in the globe model. It slowly goes the same direction as the Earth. And so what you'll see because of that is, uh, let's, call it, let's call it noon right now in South America, this reflection of the sun. We'll call that noon, okay? If the moon is over here, as the Earth spins 24 hours, we get back to South America, uh, so in 24 hours the sun is in the same place, but the moon is actually a little bit further this way 24 hours later, we'll bring South America back and It's noon again, but the Sun is more and more east in the sky so Just keep that in mind. This is supposed to be the globe model and this is how this is how the moon moves around the earth the orbit of the moon is slower than the rotation of the earth the orbit of the moon around the Earth is slower than the rotation of the Earth, okay? So, um, let's see. This is what's supposed to happen with this eclipse. Uh, regardless of the sun's reflection there, you don't have to pay attention to that right now. We've got the moon's shadow is going to appear over the west coast of North America. And I can't show you North America because of the angle of the Earth here. 66.6 .6 degree tilt is preventing me from showing you a better angle. So we're just going to use South America. We've still got a West Coast and an East Coast, so it's all good, don't worry. We've got the shadow of the moon is supposed to appear when this eclipse happens on the West Coast, and it's supposed to move toward the East. And this is supposed to debunk the globe because we all know that the moon and the sun both rise in the East and set in the West. So if I move this the, the moon from East to West, like we know it moves, the shadow follows suit and goes from east to west. Okay, so that should disprove the globe, according to some people. Now, Jaronism Jer comes out and he says, what I think he says anyway, is that we all know, we all can agree, whether we're flat earthers or whether we are uh, globe earthers, um, that the sun appears to move across the sky faster than the moon does. So from east to west, the sun will appear to move, and from east to west, the moon will appear to move. But because the moon is going backwards, you know, it's not going the same direction as the sun technically, uh, day by day, the moon will appear to be more and more toward the east. And so if you just keep that simple thought in mind, it's easy to think about how, you know, if you're not paying attention to the rotation of the earth, it's easy to think that, here, I'm going to take the flashlight, actually, and I'm going to bring it onto the Earth. And let's say we've got, we got the, the flashlight here and the moon lined up over the Earth. As the sun overtakes the moon, the shadow moves from west to east. So that's, that's actually what's happening on the flat Earth model, is that the sun moves and it is going to overtake the moon. And so the shadow of the moon moves from west to east. Okay? The problem is that I'm not taking into account um, the Earth's rotation, okay? So, I think, anyway, let me back up for a few seconds here. What I just showed you is what I think Jaronism was trying to say. And he was, uh, forgive me if I'm putting words in your mouth, Jaronism, but I think that you were trying to say that uh, we know that the sun aces the moon, therefore the shadow would move from west to east. And we don't want to hurt the flat Earth community by, um, you know, as you said, you know, hanging our hat on something that actually doesn't disprove the globe. So, um, with that little model in mind of the, you know, the, the moon overtaking the, or sorry, the sun overtaking the moon, that would indeed cause the shadow to move from west to east. 
and that's what's going to happen in the flat earth model. However, we need to include in the globe model here, the reason the sun goes across the sky in the first place is because of the earth's rotation. The sun is, for all intents and purposes, stationary, and, and the moon is supposed to be moving east around the earth, okay? And for some reason, NASA, you've probably seen them by now, NASA's got this video of the moon's orbit going super crazy fast around the globe, and that's why the shadow goes from west to east. It even overcomes, it overcomes the rotation of the earth so that when we get to, let's call it South America down here, when we get to South America, the sun, or sorry, the earth is rotating a certain speed, the moon's going to go whoosh right by, and it's going to make the shadow go from west to east. Okay? That's not realistic. That's not what the globe theory says. The uh, orbit of the moon around the earth is supposed to be once every 27.3 days. Earth days. So the, the moon is supposed to be going really slow. I don't know why NASA had to go and make some sort of stupid video like that. Uh, second point I wanted to make is, or the second thing I wanted to bring up, is another explanation for this eclipse is, well, we've straight up got, you got the moon uh, coming out over, showing up on the west coast, and they actually just show the earth spinning backwards, and that's what makes the shadow in their little animations go from west to east. You can't do that. You can't spin the earth backwards to try and prove your globe theory, because that disproves your globe theory. You're doing it wrong, okay? You shouldn't have to hear a flat earther tell you this. Anyway, um, let's take into account on this globe model, uh, let's take into account the rotation of the Earth and the orbit of the Moon as this eclipse happens. So I hope you can see it there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to move it so that the Sun's over the west coast. And I'm going to put the Moon over the west coast as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to line up the Sun and the Moon. And this is what I want you to notice. As the Sun and the Moon are lined up, see how the stick shadow and the moon are right above the sun, the white reflection on the earth, okay? As the, let's say that, the, we'll, we'll give the moon a head start. We're just gonna go play by play. Let's say that the moon moves forward an inch or so. That's the direction of the, the moon's orbit around the earth. Now, the earth is going to orbit, or sorry, rotate um, accordingly. It's actually rotating faster than the moon, and therefore, we'll give it say two inches. Now we're going to move the moon again, another inch, and then we're going to move the earth two inches. So what you can already see is that the shadow of the moon has moved west on the globe. It's gone, it's gone the wrong way. It's gone west, whereas you know in the eclipse it's going to go from west to east. What I also want you to notice is that the reflection of the sun is also let me, sorry, I'm pointing at the reflection I can see with my eyes, but I'm going to point at the camera's reflection here. The reflection we can see of the sun is further west than the shadow of the moon is. So this still, this still is showing us that, yes, indeed, the sun does set before the moon, sorry, I'm doing it again. The sun does set before the moon does, um, but the moon's shadow still moves the wrong way. Do you see that? I'm, I'm trying my best here to, to show you why this eclipse doesn't work. We're going to give the moon another inch. It's moving toward the east. And now the earth rotates a bit more. And like I could keep this up all day. As I spin, the moon is going to keep moving east, right? And it's going to get closer and closer to the east. The sun is getting, I did it again. The sun is getting more and more west. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do that all over again. Let's reset. We've got, we've got South America here, just in case you didn't get it the first time. Let's just let's be real slow. I've got the moon and the sun lined up so that the shadow is going to be over the west coast there, you can see it. As the Earth rotates in its correct direction and as the moon orbits in its correct direction, the moon orbits the Earth slower than the Earth rotates. So the Earth's gonna rotate some, the moon's gonna orbit some. The Earth's gonna rotate some, the moon's gonna orbit some. Back and forth it goes, but we know that the Earth is supposed to rotate faster than the moon. And what we can see, pay no attention to this ball on a stick. We're not, we're not talking about that. We don't care. We're talking about the shadow. The reason I say ignore this is because from where the camera is, uh, this doesn't make any sense. We're just trying to talk about the shadow of the moon in this eclipse, right? We know that this isn't to scale, but it doesn't have to be for this demonstration. Starting on the west coast of South America, as, as the moon orbits toward the east and the earth spins towards the east as well, the sun and the moon appear to move west 
off the coast into the ocean just like they would in real life. And we can see that as this goes on, the sun moves more and more west than the shadow of the moon. So we still see, it's true, we still do see the light from the sun moving faster than the shadow of the moon. But the shadow of the moon has gone the wrong way still. It's still, even though, it, well, it's because of the Earth's rotation. We, we still know that it's as if you could, uh, let's say we're going to cancel out the motion of the moon and uh, reduce the speed of the Earth's rotation just for, I don't know, to make it more fair. Uh, if we were to just cancel out those speeds and now the Earth is rotating slower, the shadow is still going to go from east to west, not west to east. That's as clear as I can make it. I think this is, I've just spent like an hour, maybe more, mulling over this, and I think that, um, I think that it's really easy to read into uh, the globe truth that we know about the flat earth, i.e. the fact that the sun moves across our sky faster than the moon does. That's true on the flat earth model and it's true on the, glo on the globe model, but when you really do the math, it doesn't make any sense. When you really get the models going here, you know, get your balls out. Uh, <laughs> as you've got the globe here, I'm gonna do it again. We've got the moon and the, and the sun lined up the moon's going to orbit the Earth in one direction, and the, in the correct direction, and the Earth is going to rotate in the correct direction, and the shadow of the moon is going to get further and further uh, west, and the sunlight, as you can see behind the ball there, is even further west than the shadow. All right, my camera battery is almost dead, so I'm, I'm probably beating a dead horse by now. I think that the globe has been defeated. So, yeah. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please comment. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I think I just, I think I just proved that this, that this eclipse does indeed disprove the globe. Um, if I'm making a mistake, please let me know. I don't like to pretend I'm above reproach. If you think that I'm wrong, seriously, let me know. We can talk about it. Um, yeah, whatever. Thanks for watching.